Hey guys, Marchis here, and welcome to another ZZZ video, and in this video, I'm going to be going over farming hollows for things like Z-Merits, Denny's, um, Bangboo XP, all that kind of stuff. So, I made a video recently about how some of these things are unlimited, and I'm going to go over like which ones are more uh, efficient to do, which ones are faster, and depending on what level you are and whatnot, which ones I would recommend doing. Now the first thing I want to talk about, we'll start off with like the basics. You have zone 1, 2, and 3. Zone 1 has the very first boss you fight, which is an ethereal, and zone 2 has the mechanical boss, and zone 3 has the twin ballerinas. Now as you're leveling up your internet level, you will unlock higher and higher difficulties of these zones. Like just one by one, you'll start getting higher difficulties for these as you are going throughout the game. If you're trying to just complete your hollow weeklies for your just like your basic rewards, uh, I would recommend just doing the highest possible one that you can just to fill out your points for the week. And as you are clearing these, the only difference in rewards between these two are the color of I don't know what they're referred to, but they look like little Capri Sun packets and you use them to fill out the board that you get to upgrades on. Now, quick disclaimer before I start getting into it, these times were my times, so I just used this to measure uh, how long it would take and how much rewards I was getting. You might do it faster, you might do it slower. If you're still in the early stages of your account, just go ahead and do Frontline if you have access to it. So Edge and Frontline take the same amount of time to do. If you have access to Frontline, Frontline just gives more rewards hands down, but they take the same amount of time to do. Now when you're doing these, just a quick reminder, you do have to pick up the Z-Merits from these interim stages, so make sure you pick them up as you're farming, don't just run by them. Now, data. Alright, so the interior is where you start getting the 60 Z-Merits, so if you're farming Z-Merits, um, anywhere between 9 to 10 minutes is roughly how many times it took me. I ran each of these three times, and normally they were roughly all the same amount of time. Um, and this is just me going straight for the end. Like, this is kind of ignoring extra bonuses and power-ups and whatnot. And it was just strictly to see how fast I could finish these. So that took 9 to 10 minutes, and it gives the same amount of Z-Merits as any of the higher difficulties. So if you're farming Z-Merits, I would highly recommend the interior if you have access to it. Now, as far as things like Bangboo XP and Denny's, for... The highest difficulty usually took me around like 13 to 15 minutes and the lowest difficulty was only 9 to 10 minutes. So a lot of the time is just used up by like loading screens, transitioning screens and whatnot. So for 5 minutes of your time, you get 1380 more Denny's and you also get another like 5 to 6 more Bangboo XP's. So you're it's not quite double, but it's a pretty large increase for a half of the amount of time that it would take for... Uh, that you would normally do it. So it feels like they kind of worked in a little bit of math here. So if you have the highest difficulty available to you, I would just recommend doing the highest difficulty if you are farming either of those things. Now, for the things that I called Capri Suns, the, these are for the mod board currencies. And the only thing different about these is that depending on which zone you're in will determine which color of Capri Sun <laughs> currency that you're going to get. So... If you're trying to fill out the mod board, just do the lower difficulties of each zone. Each one of them takes about like five minutes to do. And the one that gives 400 takes roughly 12 to 13 minutes. So if you just do two of them, it'll take 10 minutes and you'll get 400 currency and it's less time. And even looking at the highest difficulty that I have access to right now, which is core, that only gives 500. So if you do three of them, which is roughly 15 minutes worth of time, you'll still get 100 more of the mod board currency as opposed to doing the highest difficulty. Now, just to reiterate once again, I took this long to do it with my strongest team. So whatever your strongest team is, it might be faster, it might be slower. Um, I just use this to measure the difference in time in clearing these hollows. Now, notable mention, while if you plan on starting to do this, when you're first starting out, make sure you start filling up your hollow research. There is a whole bunch of Denny's, Polychromes, Bangboo XP, uh, that you can receive from just doing these researches you don't have to like necessarily go for them but if you see like a new card or something or like a new encounter of some sort on a screen go for it because you will get rewarded for it 
Anywho, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that sort, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and sub on the way out if you found this information useful, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.